I'm not asking how fear arises. That you have already explained. Rather, what is the actual substance of fear? What is fear itself? Is it a pattern of physiologic reactions and sensations, tightening of muscles, surge of adrenaline, and so forth? Or is something more? What, what am I to look at when I look at fear itself? Can this looking take place when fear is not immediately present? I am not asking how fear arises, that you have already explained. Rather, what is the actual substance of fear? What is the what is fear itself? Is it a pattern of physiologic reactions and sensations, tightening of muscles, surge of adrenaline, and so forth? Or is something more? What am I to look at when I look at fear itself? Can this looking take place when fear is not immediately present? Rather long question. Let's the question, as far as I can make out from this question, wants to know what is the substance of fear? What is actual fear? And what is, how can one observe fear present or past? Right? That's the question. Do we understand the question? What is fear itself? Apart from the physiologic reactions, the tightening and so on, what is the actual moment of fear? What is the nature, the inward structure of fear, substance? Right? Can you go on with that? We all, we all understood the brother. Long question. What is fear itself? We are generally afraid of something, right? Or a remembrance of something that has happened. Or a projection of the reaction into the future. Right? But that is not what the questioner asks only. He asks also, what is actual nature of fear? I really don't know. We're going to find out. <laughs> when one is afraid, both physiologically as well as psychologically, it is, is it not, something that one f has feeling of danger, right? feeling of total isolation, or loneliness, deep, abiding, lasting loneliness. Those are all reactions to something. I'm afraid of this. One is afraid of the snake, or what one 
when I had pain and is afraid of that pain and so on. So it is either a remembrance and therefore something that has happened in the past and recalled when that when a dangerous moment arrives, the remembrance of the past, identifying and say that is fear. The questioner says, and I think there is <coughs> something which we have to go into it together, which is, apart from all this physical, psychological reactions, which we know as fear, apart from it, is there fear in itself, not fear of something? You want to say, well, am I uh, making it? Is there fear per se? Or we only know fear in relation to something else. If it is not relation to something else, is it fear? We only know fear in relation to something, from something or towards something. But if you eliminate all that, is there actual fear? which you can examine. You, you understand my question? Or is fear, deep-rooted fear, in the mind, which has always wanted total security and not finding it, it's afraid. You understand? Please, we're examining it together. You're not just playing games with me. It's not, the ball is not in your court or in my court. We're looking at it together. The mind, the brain, needs complete security to function well, healthily, sanely. Not finding it in anything, in a relationship, in an idea, in a belief, in an image, An intelligent mind rejects all that. But yet it must have complete security. And lacking that is fear comes into being, right? That is, is there something totally, completely secure? Not the certainty of belief, dogma, rituals and ideas, which can be abolished and new ideas, dogmas, theories can be replaced by them. But if we put aside all that, is the mind, the brain, seeking a security that is imperishable? You and not finding it, it, it has deep-rooted fear. I don't know if we're meeting together. So I'm asking, my, one is asking oneself, apart from the ordinary kind of fears, is the mind, brain creating the fear itself? You follow? Because it has no, 
There's nothing valid, nothing that is whole. And is that the substance of fear? That is, can the brain, and the brain includes, mind includes the brain reactions and all that, can that total mind have complete security, certainty, not about something, you understand what I mean? Not about God, belief or that, but in itself completely who? I, you, am I conveying something? Let's see. Can the mind in itself have no fear? Am I, am I conveying something? Are we meeting each other? Mind, thought, which is part of the mind and brain, has created, <laughs> desire and security has created various illusions, philosophical uh, and so on, theological, and not finding it there, It either creates something beyond itself in which it can find security, total security, or the mind is so totally complete, it has no need for fear. You, I would I would I'm this rather difficult. We are not talking about getting rid of fear, or suppressing fear, or the cause of fear. Or we went into all that the other day. But we are asking something totally different, which is, can the mind in itself have no cause or substance or reaction which he, which brings fear. You. Are we? So please, this rather difficult question to, uh, to find this out, that is, can the mind have can it ever have <laughs> can it ever be in a state again that word state implies static I don't mean that can it ever be in a in a quality in a state where It has no movement, reaching out or going, you follow? Completely whole in itself. I wonder if I'm okay. You see, this implies going, understanding what is meditation, if you are interested in it. Meditation isn't all this nonsense that's going on, but to be free from the from fear, you follow? Both physiological as well as psychological. Be free from it. Otherwise, you don't. One can't love. One can't. There is no love. There is no compassion. There is, you know. As long as there is fear, the other cannot exist. 
and to, and to meditate, not to read something, to understand the, the nature of fear and to go beyond it, which is to find out whether the mind has no, please, this man, has no memory or remembrance of something which has caused fear, you, so that it is completely whole. I think I will more or less answer that question. Oh yes, see, can this looking take place when fear is not immediately present? One can recall fear, can't one? And the recalling of that fear can be observed, can't it? You're sitting here quietly, probably you have no fear now. But you've had fear in the past, and you can say, well, you can summon it. But it's not actually the same, right? Because at the moment when there is no, <coughs> fear exists a moment after, not at the actual mom moment. I don't know if you. You have given it a name, a reaction, and so on, and that you call it fear. But at the actual moment of great danger, moment of facing something that may cause fear, at that second there is no fear, you, there is nothing. Then there is a recollection of the past, and then the naming of it, and say, but Joe, I'm afraid. All the tightening of the muscles, <laughs> and so on, so on. So, one can, I think, recall the past fears and look at it. The ob observing of that fear is important because either you put it outside of you, or you say, I am that fear. There is not you observing that fear. You are that in, that reaction. Then, when there is no division as you and fear, but only state of that reaction, something have you if you have noticed it? Something entirely new takes place. Right? 